flowers for all seasons. That's the story here at Reading, where they grow carnations under glass all the year round. Chrysanthemums, flowers that usually bloom late in the year, but under these glass acres you can see them any time. They grow for profit here, but it isn't money, but management in all its aspects that's the subject of study. So they simplify the growing process to the barest essentials, and they clip the problem right down to size. Vandalism? Not really. It's in the cause of science, and with the plants they've grown themselves. Because to find out just how long the edge of a chrysanthemum leaf is, they photograph it and trace out and measure the whole outline. Here at Reading University's Horticultural Research Department, they're determined to discover everything there is to know about what makes a potted plant grow. Plants breathe in what people breathe out, carbon dioxide. They breathe it in through pores, tiny but measurable in a test like this, which more or less forces a plant to breathe under controlled laboratory conditions. Students and staff at Reading are used to playing tricks on plants. They fake climate in environment control cabinets. Temperature, moisture in the air, even the length of day and night are organized in a grand deception behind locked doors. The amazing thing is just how adaptable plants are. In the middle of November, they can bring on spring and the flowers believe it's true. Day and night, night and day, they draw a veil over the proper passage of the seasons in order to find out how a plant reacts to a rigged timetable. Plants that normally flower in September can come out at Christmas, or even six months out of season, just by making the days longer in this red light dark room. And while they're inside, their well-being is a very important factor for success. To stop a chrysanthemum flowering at its usual time, they simply give it a couple of hours extra pseudo-sunshine at the strategic moment, so the flower still thinks it's summer and holds back its blooms. It's all controlled by a punched computer program. Computers go gardening, so do Geiger counters. Plant rearers at Reading are interested in how a plant feeds, so they inject with radioactive food and follow it around stem and leaves just to see what a plant does with what it takes from the soil. Confusing a chrysanth, you might consider, could cause it to wilt and wither away, but strong, healthy plants are the result of these tamperings with coloured lights. Complex patterns of laboratory procedure throw light on a common, or certainly garden, lettuce.